Hey guys, how's it going? Demon Dog here. So today I'm gonna be making a rant that I always wanted to make, but every time I did, I I always got off uh, off topic, you know. So uh, look, I wanna talk about the the poser label. So here are my thoughts about it. Um, lots of YouTubers have already said this. Uh, I think Cover Killer Nation said it in Fidel Amsterdam. Uh, and also uh, another one of my favorites, uh, Black Metal Werewolf. The, he said that uh, Poser label lost its meaning, you know? Because everyone throws it around and shit. But anyway, uh, I will just tell you guys what I think is a poser. I'm not going to be saying what exactly is a poser because, um, you know, everyone has their own concept of it. So I'll give you examples. Uh, oh, and okay, look, first of all, uh, don't be all calling me an elitist or anything because uh, I'm, I, don't, I don't, you know, poser's not really an insult, really. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, really, it's, it's nothing. It's like saying, like, oh man, it's like, for example, comic book fans, if, if they, if one of them tells an art, like, oh man, you don't know shit about Spider Man because your favorite movie is the third, or, you know, something like that. They said it to me because my favorite is the third. I have my reasons. And this friend of mine, uh, he's kind of a soy boy, kind of. He um, he called me um, a music Hitler just for um, putting out the the poser label. You know, because I said that a poser is someone who wears a T-shirt of a band but doesn't know the band, and he said. Oh, what? So, so you're saying that they can't wear the t-shirt because they like the design? So, look, right off the bat, that's poser for me. If they wear a band's t-shirt and they don't know anything of the band, or they only know one or two songs, you know, the most notable ones. Like the Slayer example of someone wears a t-shirt of them and all they know is Raining Blood and Angel of Death. Or if they're uh, like that uh, black guy uh, who was like, oh, oh, uh, yeah, man, it's because I'm a slayer. And, you know, and he was asked, um, when he was asked, so do you know uh, um, what music they play? He was, you know, he was all surprised, like, oh, is this a band? You know, he didn't, he didn't know that. That's supposed to right there, too. Yep. Okay, and another thing that's poser for me is the people who dress like metalheads, but you can actually, but you can actually tell they're not metalheads. That they dress like it for fashion. So I'll give you an example. I was hanging out with a group of friends. Now, of course. Uh, they weren't metalheads or anything, they were regular guys and all. You know, wearing t-shirts that have random text, t-shirts that have nothing on them. Some of them wearing t-shirts of Pokemon because they love Pokemon. Yeah, I hang out with nerds. Um, and I was the only one wearing a metal t-shirt, I was wearing my obituary t-shirt. And, you know, um, everything was was going good and all that stuff. You know, not, nothing went bad. But, so, yeah, to the point of this one, um, there was this girl who, who uh, showed up in a group of friends. She, uh, she had her hair dyed blue, a black crop top, you know, like, up to you here. Um, 
I think she was wearing uh, some chains. I think, I don't know. And, you know, she was out bragging to her friends who don't listen to metal about, you know, being in festivals and all that shit. Also talking about the bands and all that. Um, I could obviously tell that she didn't like metal. Besides, uh, one time we were actually... We were actually talking about the bands we like and all that stuff, and uh, I told her I'm more into bands like Death and Deicide and all that. She didn't know who they were. She didn't. She uh, claims to like Death Metal, but she doesn't know those bands. How can you say you like Death Metal and not know those bands? She claims to like Death Metal, and she... Um, she likes bands like Butcher Babies and Flames and all that stuff. Nothing wrong with liking those bands, but if you think those are death metal and you still claim to be a death metaler, then something is wrong with you. Wrong with you. Wrong with your uh, knowledge of uh, metal. So yeah, I gave uh, two examples right off the bat. Two and one of uh, you know Poser and all that stuff. And, and this also goes to the people wearing uh, t-shirts of a band, of a metal band, when they're not even metal. Talking about, of course, the artists, the celebrities and all that stuff. It's okay if they wear them, uh, like, at home or when they're in, like, a, a private resort or something. But wearing it in public with people and all that stuff, people are gonna think you're a metalhead and then you're basic bitch fan girls or fanboys, um, most likely soy boys. They're gonna wear the same t-shirt cause, uh, cause you know it's all trendy and stuff like that. Oh it's cause uh, Kim Kardashian wears it and you know all that, all that other shit. Another poser thing to me is the people like, uh, I'm not going to mention his name on YouTube, I got in trouble with just for mentioning him, doing a video about him. You say that you're a big metalhead and you're listing all the bands you like, but in your videos you're always talking about the same things that uh, metalheads look down upon, you know, glam metal and mainstream rock music, pop, and, you know, all that shit. And all, another thing that's also a poser is when you claim you're, like, this big metalhead and all that stuff, and you're like, oh, yeah, man, I like metal, man. It's all about Metallica and Guns N' Roses and ACDC. You know, mentioning uh, rock bands that aren't even metal. I don't even know how they're associated with metal to begin with. And they also mention a lot of new metal and metalcore bands. Okay, now, uh, look. Um, and there's this thing that many will consider poser, but I don't see it as poser. So, someone, for example, who is barely getting into metal, doesn't really know a bunch of bands. But you see them there in the concert, and they come there for the same, come, <laughs> and they go there for the same thing, you know, to enjoy the same band. Slayer, the Slayer concert I was at, there were some guys uh, behind me, I was talking with them, I was like, yeah, Lamb of God, I mean... Another thrash metal band should have come, like Nervosa or Exumer. He didn't know who those bands were, but, you know, he knew Slater. His favorite band was Metallica, but he was there, He and he likes Metallica so a lot. So, uh, you know, I see him more as a beginner rather than a poser. And, well, sooner or later, I think I'll be doing some poser skits, like how posers act, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the rant, and as always, keep it metal. See you guys later.